Well, here we are into October, and what that means for us here at Crete Schaefer & Hunt, it means me telling you Happy New Year. Our business year ends on September 30th and starts over again on October 1st, and so, you know, we're kind of happy to have that uh, last year done. Uh, it was kind of a challenging second half of the year. We're going to start out with a little bit of challenge this first half of the year, but as I think, you know, as we see the year go on, we're only going to see it uh, improve over time. We'll have some of that seasonality that's back into the old freight cycles. We're seeing it right now. We're seeing that baking season freight start. We are seeing record loads of flour for some of our customers, some sugar, some of those other things that help that we all like to have uh, out there for the holidays. So when we have those big meals, we have those great uh, desserts and family favorites to go with them. So thank you for uh, making the holidays great in advance for others and good to see some of that freight picking up. October also means the snow starts flying, the wind starts blowing, it starts to get icy. Believe it or not, there's been snow up in the mountains already. So we need you to start thinking about safety first and foremost in winter weather conditions. Remember, we've always said there's no load of freight that's more important than your safety or the safety of the others with whom you share the road. So make sure if you get into road conditions that are not safe, you shut it down, uh, you contact operations and let them know. We know service is always important, but safety is first and foremost. So if we have to shut down, we call the customer, we'll reschedule, we'll work through that. Make sure you're doing the safe thing out there. You know, always in road conditions, you know, that are, are a little bit more treacherous. Remember, in any road conditions, speed and space is important, but particularly as we get into these winter weather conditions, speed and space is even more important. So understand the road conditions, understand uh, the proper speed and space you need to have given the road conditions, and as I said earlier, shut it down if it's not safe. Also in this time, remember your personal safety. As we start to get the winter, you know, the, 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 the parking lots get slick, the steps on your truck get slip, so make sure as you're moving out and about, you're using a good three points of contact getting in and out of your truck. Make sure you have proper footwear when you're walking out on those parking lots. And just make sure, you know, as we're going into winter, you have your truck ready for winter. I know a lot of you already switched over to your winter gear, making sure you maybe got a little extra food and water. Uh, so if you get out there, you get stranded for a little while, uh, you've got um, those comforts you need uh, to really take care of yourself in these winter conditions. Another thing, we mentioned it a couple weeks ago, but test your S-Bar heater, heater if you haven't already. Um, that's what you need for the heat out there in the winter. Make sure it's working properly. If it's not, getting it, get it into a shop. That helps us save on idle time in the winter because we're not having to idle the truck to heat your truck. Because as you know, fuel remains very costly. It's up almost 40% uh, over this time last year at some places in the country, and so we need to watch our consumption. Along those lines, thank you very much. Last week we had 96% com compliance to our fuel solutions. That's just great. That's awesome. We really do uh, appreciate you doing that. Watching your idle, watching your fuel compliance is really helping us get through this high cost of fuel. We are also making great progress on that PeopleNet tablet upgrade. We have over 75% of the fleet that now has the new tablets. Uh, we're continuing to see improvements being made in the tablets, the programs being offered on that. So again, thank you for working with us. For those of you who haven't gotten the new tab yet, the key still is, is make sure you watch the training video uh, before you start just to test it out. That's the frustration I've heard from drivers is when I've talked to them is like, well, I just tried to use it and I got stuck here, I got stuck there. Use the training we have, use the mentors we have, use your fleets, folks. Uh, we want to make it as easy as possible for you to upgrade to that new tablet. Speaking of new things, uh, thank you for those drivers who have gone and picked up our new utility trailers. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, we are getting a lot of Wabash trailers yet, but also some new utility dry vans. Uh, they're great looking trailers so far, and we're happy to add those to our fleet. Also this month, we're getting extra new trucks. Uh, we were able to get more trucks from Freightliner than our original plan for this month. That's going to help us, again, reduce our high mileage trucks on the road. A reminder, typically we like to get trucks off the road you know, between 450 and 475,000 miles. We have some trucks over 475,000 miles right now. If you're in one of those, we should be contacting you soon uh, to get you out of that and get you into a lower mile truck. Speaking of trucks and maintenance, I mentioned last week that with respect to our PMs, uh, you know, we've grown in our shops. Uh, last week, I think I mentioned we're up 26 techs year over year. We're up 28 techs year over year now, so we have a lot more availability to do work in our shops. So as we send out, we really are going to try to do all of our A services and past due B services in our shops. 
Now, if you happen to be on one of those small dedicated fleets or something that doesn't get through one of our shops, we'll work with you. Uh, but for those drivers that are able to get through our shops, we want the A services and any pass through B services done in our shops. We, our shops just do a much better job, a much more thorough job uh, than if we get it done at an outside vendor. And that really prevents then things needing to be done over the road for you. We also would like you to try to get our, our trailer services done, our T1s, our R1s, and our R2s done at our shops as much as possible. Again, same with the trailers. The more that our team is able to look at them, the better service we get out there. Finally, a reminder that we have open enrollment going on right now. If you haven't gone out and done that, make sure you do that. And then a final reminder that this upcoming Monday is a holiday. Uh, Columbus Day um, is what I call it. I think some people, it's an Indigenous People's Day uh, as well. I, I, I grew up in, with the old uh, name of the holiday, so that's what sticks in my mind. Uh, but we do have, again, a few shippers that are closing down for the holiday. I know we have one here in Nebraska. Looks like it's going to be a lot more limited than the past holidays, so it shouldn't be as much of an impact. But just be aware of that and work with operations to make sure we keep you moving and productive. So thanks for everything you're doing out there and be safe.